Okay, day 36. Hogan Lovell's purple shovels. They're all over the place, man. Uh, they're all over the place. Hey, I just met Deep Hawaii. Um, and I won't go into too much detail, but uh, you can listen to Deep Hawaii and see that I'm a real person and all that stuff. I don't know. Do people think, you know, anyway. Somebody said I was CGI. Oh, chemtrail. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I think DISA, I, I know I've said DISA for about, I want to say 100 days, maybe 100, no, about 200 days. I've said the Awans were kind of like this concierge group for DISA. And why is DISA so important? Well, if you don't remember, DISA is kind of the defense, into, into, or, uh, defense uh, inter, IT. They're the IT for the DOD. And that's where I think they know Teresa Grappenstein from, is she's kind of like the person who needs to know about IT for the DOD, because she was the inspector general for the uh, DOD. And she needs to know about, she's an expert in cybersecurity, so she would know the Awans. Uh, so that'll be one of the interrogatory questions. But DISA moved from Alexandria, where Teresa Grafenstein was, to, and they were real close. I think they were on Courthouse Road. I, I texted out the picture. And they, um, JTTF, JTTF, everywhere, JTTF. It's really a JTTF program. And JTTF is, might be, you know, the uh, PDD-62. I mean, it just might be that... that the whole program is, it was in 98 PDD-62 and it got memorialized when you went to the, um, you know, when you went to the Patriot Act. So, uh, and you have to bring people in to run these operations. That's going to be the ex explanation when this is all said and done. We need to go covert. We need to bring people in from other countries. Nobody could know about this. Blah, blah, blah. All that. Hey, scratches. So, um, that's what happened. The White House just behind me, you can see that way. Pennsylvania Avenue coming up on Trump Tower, that all-seeing, all-knowing clock. Um, a lot of people say, you know, Washington Monument, more of an Egyptian all-seeing eye at the top, that obelisk, you know, the eye at the top of the dollar, you know, telling you. And then, of course, Trump Tower being the Renaissance version, a more orderly universe. When they got, when they invented clocks, they really went into the four-face clocks. But anyway, let's go back to Dissa. Uh, I think DISA uh, basically is JTTF's surveillance arm, and you're going to combine a lot of different information there. You're going to NGA geospatial. Let's not get into a big argument over, you know, uh, synthetic aperture radar. <laughs> uh, you're going to bring in um, you're going to bring in the satellite data. You're also going to bring cell phone data, location data. You're going to bring in human human data, like from your um, G4S. Uh, gangs for security. You're going to bring in the HumeInt, GeoInt, and SigInt. SigInt is signal intelligence. That's coming from the, the um, phones. You bring it all together and basically with all that, you can create a movie just like I'm making now. You have your sky so you can geolocate me on a map. You have the video of, well, you have the uh, signal that I'm generating right now from my phone uh, to watch me over time, so you have a time series, and then you have other databases that can combine. So if you were directing a team at targets, they could basically watch a movie and have a complete dossier moving with you all the time. And that's what I think the Nadra application is, exactly. And I think in order to do that Nadra application, that's why it combines all these things. So uranium was a perfect excuse to pay for the application. But it's really going to be used for political military uh, domination of, of different countries all over the world. They're going to resell this all over the world. They're going to write different interfaces in Pakistan for different countries. Pakistan's going to be the, the funnel for all the Middle East, Africa, small island nations and so forth. They're going to get a lot of resale business here. Uh, so that's what I believe it is. Now, how do you bring all these people in under a passport program? Well, I think the first... 100,000 come in under this MAVNI program, the military vital assets needed in case of an insurrection, which they're going to say in case of something else, but in case of an insurrection. It's really a population control thing. And when you think about it, a general wants to win, and generals win by having plans. And if you don't have a plan for your own capital down there, not too far, if you don't have a plan to put your own population down, that's like a general that lets his flag be captured. That's 
F for general, right? So anyway, um, I believe that the program had a lot of criticism, bringing in a lot of people that had been trained in intelligence but had ter terrorist backgrounds. They didn't even know where 6,000 of the Mavni, 100,000 are. So I think the program still exists, but I think they cut back on it. Again, I might be saying more than I know here, but people will research this. And then I think you have to have a capability to start printing passports. Here again, if you give people the ability to print passports, especially diplomatic passports, you open up the possibility that they do diplomatic containers. I can take somebody's name, falsify a passport, and I'm good to go. I don't need to be a diplomat. And I believe the diplomatic passports are made up there where I said near TISCOM. TISCOM's at the bottom of the hill, the Coast Guard TISCOM in Kingstown, where Laura Everly lives. The top of the hill is the CIA. And what happens there uh, is all these different printers and IT equipment comes back there from all over the world uh, for printing passports, among other things. But I think also diplomatic passports. So if you are forging diplomatic passports for this MAVNI program to bring people in, you could test your, your reader there up on the hill near Top Golf. And I, as soon as I walked by Top Golf, I said, oh, this is a fake. <laughs> I said, oh, I came in to get my driver, but it's shaped like a passport printer. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's what I believe. Um, we'll see. But there is a State Department unit up there. They do fix passport printers up there. Um, and right behind the Walmart. And I walked right by it, and when I walked by it, I said, oh no, this, th there's something going on here. And I think the Mabney passports are printed there. So, the key point, you have a website? Wanna say everybody your website? What's your website? It's peoples.com. Can you spell it? It's uh, P-E-O-P-L-E. I have it right here. Now yeah. put, it, oh, put your card up and get it. And how long you been playing? Oh, ever since I was 10 years old. Ever since you were 10. Is that yeah. is that a Stratocaster there? Well, it's not a real one, but it's made by Fender. Fender, okay. Yeah, right. it's made. Um, Squire make them. I Squire. mean, Fender, Fender make them, but Squire uses their name. Oh, Squire <laughs> uses their name all their life. But it's a copy. It. It's a copy. It's a poor man's Fender. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, brother. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if I could afford one of those nice... Well, what? you will after this. I'm world Thousand. famous, man. No, I'm not really. <laughs> That's so and that. people can Look, go on there and they can buy your uh, people. Yeah, on there. Just, I'm for hire. You're for hire, okay? Yeah. You're around music. DC? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can I tell do, that. Yeah. I do jazz. I do R&B. I do all the sounds from the Motown. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I do all this stuff, man. I do so the blues. You, that's what you got for me. You got a little blues for me. You want to hear some BB? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a geese. BB King. BB King. He was a legend. You know he that. He was a legend. got me in the mood to start singing. So anyway, there we go. Your first name again? My name is Jack. Jack. Jack Peoples, everybody. Jack Peoples. Nice to meet you, Jack. Catch you later. So that's the... You too, man. Have a good Christmas. Good Christmas. So that's, that's Jack Peoples. He's a man of the people. Jack People. And that's all for now under the Trump Tower All-Seeing Eye and Clock.